What is up guys? Back for another one here. But, uh, it's really nasty outside. Kind of sucks. Like every day for like the past week or more even. Um, it's just storms. It's usually at night. Normally they're not too bad during the day. It's like 4 p.m. right now. I literally just got up. I changed shifts this week so I'm working 10 at night till 6 in the morning. It's really been messing me up. Um, and over the weekend there was supposed to be a bunch of racing going down. And of course it rained. So I didn't have a video for you guys on Monday. Um, obviously this will be out for you guys Thursday. But uh, today's video, not, nothing nothing too, too, too much fun here. We do got a brand new set of tires. Thanks to Brandon. These are the same size uh, that I run. The stamped on the tires, 235, 45, 17. But really they're like a step bigger, and a step wider and a step taller. These tires run big. You can, you can see. Uh, that's new. I mean, it's they run pretty decent size. And of course, I actually this side's not even showing any tread, surprisingly. But the other side here, yeah, there's tread. There, there's all types of a little bit of D lamb there. I put these tires through hell. They've lasted. I've had them since August of 2018, and it is July, June, June, early June of 2019. Um, I've, I've been daily in these for probably two months now, but the amount of laps that I've put on these tires is quite a bit. Definitely worth the money. They're like 400 shipped to my door, so it's uh, it was definitely a good purchase in my opinion. But uh, we pretty much got everything set up ready for this turbo to go in. Uh, it'll be next Friday, eight days, obviously, for when you're watching this video. That's the title of the video. Um, I got spark plugs in, got uh, my new filter in. Uh, I'm thinking about this weekend possibly doing the, uh, I'll just show you. I'm thinking about going ahead and going through and doing the, uh, the piping from the turbo to the intercooler. Just gives me something to do, it's just a couple things. I'm not gonna do the turbo muffler delete. I'm gonna leave that um, to be put on here. But I could do all the rest. I could do these two. Um, yeah, just get it done. I don't see why not. It saves me a little bit of time when I do get to do the turbo. And of course, you know, we got a, our bag of stuffs here. I'll just pull the turbo out for you real quick. We can, we can investigate it. Just look at this thing. You got the wastegate already calibrated from at EQT. They, they did it. For me, you can pay extra to get a new wastegate and get it calibrated. I did that so I could sell my IS38 for a little bit more. Look at that. Everything's just so nice. All the surfaces, all the the threads, everything. I've, I went over this turbo like 17 times just to make sure everything looks dandy. And it does. Just a beautiful, beautiful turbo. Um, I just hate how Volkswagen has these turbo mufflers. I mean, this section of the turbo. It's such an ugly thing to have, but... Oh well, what can you do? Uh, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Just look at it. Beautiful. See how everything works here. Diverter valve, pressure, stuff, happiness. It's so pretty. So good. So good. That is cut. Look at how close that is. Wastegate. I can't wait to compare this to the other one. You guys can see the difference between the IS38 and the EQT. Man, I cannot wait to get this on. 
guys like any type of rock or metal or anything like that, right there. Hurricane by I Prevail, Paranoid, I Don't Belong Here. Some really, really good songs. I just like recently kind of rediscovered I Prevail and I've been listening to them, listening to them nonstop all week. But, got the tires loaded up here in the back. It is raining like terribly right now and we don't really have drainage uh, in this town since it doesn't really rain much. We're like in the desert basically. Um, so there's no, no like metal grates in the road. It's just like the roads are kind of made to have the water flow to certain points in town where it can run off. So a lot of spots get uh, flooded like right away. So I don't know how well this is gonna go. I might have to turn around and come back home. I don't, I don't think I'm actually gonna make it to either one of the spots to get uh, my tires mounted today uh, due to flooding. So we'll see. My last car, I had a Mark IV R32 that was supercharged and I had the filter like down, uh, down in like the fender liner and I went through like a, a foot high puddle thing. This was like right by my house. It's literally right around the corner. I wound up hydrolocking the car. So I'm a little, uh, I, f I hate rain. I really hate rain. It's bad. And then rain and these tires are a bad idea as well. So we'll see how this little trip goes. If I find any, uh, well, I definitely will. I'll try and record some of the, the puddles. Puddles. They're bad. You can see here all the wa running water going downtown. And that's in the, this is two lanes on each side and usually people only use the one lane like that one because the other one's so flooded with water this isn't too too bad right now but it gets pretty rough well that didn't work out they have a two hour wait so i set an appointment tomorrow at 2 30 in the afternoon i usually don't get up till like four so i'm to cut my sleep a little bit early tomorrow get these tires mounted i'll probably still take a nap because uh, what I plan on doing Friday right after work, I get off at like 6 in the morning in Albuquerque where I'm going for the weekend to do all this racing and stuff. It's like a three and a half hour drive. And uh, I think the track opens up Friday night at like 7. So I'm not trying to get up at like 5 and then roll out or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do, as soon as I get off of work Friday, I'm going to have all my stuff, my bags packed, my tools and all that with me to work. And then just leave for Albuquerque uh, right from work. So, these tires need to be on, you know, by Friday. So I guess I'll just come back tomorrow and get them mounted. Uh, I really wanted to wash the car and get it taped up and painted. Last year I had it real nice and clean, got painters taped the whole front end. So when I got to Albuquerque, I just ripped the tape off. All the bugs came off with it. Uh, whenever with a little bit of quick detail, and she was good to go. But with the way this rain is and stuff, um, it's looking like I might have to wait, just bring my cleaning stuff with me and then get it washed in Albuquerque and, and do all that. So we'll see. I don't want to be running around Albuquerque with a dirty ass car. There's going to be like all types of cars and people and stuff all around this weekend, all types of racing. I'd like to get in with them and do some test and tune Friday night at the track. I mean, the altitude up there is absolutely horrid, but uh, if I could beat my time, my 1236 at that altitude, then I'd be way good. Uh, to beat it as I said so anyway I'd like to get that done but uh I don't even know what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go home and <sighs> eat some leftover pizza I guess hang out damn well I guess the uh <clears throat> tire change is waiting until tomorrow Kind of sucks. I wanted to get that knocked out today. Of course, nothing ever really wants to work out for me lately. Damn it. Uh, whatever. We'll still have the, we'll have the tires on before we go up there. Won't be that big of a deal. I could, I could probably honestly drive up there and back on these if I needed to. Um, I just don't want to be at the track with junk ass tires if I am able to make it to the track. I don't even know if I can like go out there and make any test passes I don't know if it's like just for the people who had entered the event which I think I still have the opportunity to enter the event it's like fucking we're talking over a hundred bucks to go race and the bra bracket I would be in would be 12 8 to 14 1 I think it's like the most stacked class there is I mean it would be cool to go do honestly just for shits and giggles I, I entered like two years ago lost on the first round misshifted 
from I think one to two, it was just a bad time. That was on my, my R32 before I had supercharged it. And I'm pretty sure that was the, the same class. That car probably would have ran like 15s anyway, but. <laughs> um, yeah, and they got ethanol up there. They got 91 in it and ethanol, so I'll mix a little bit of ethanol and go play around up there. I don't know. This weekend should be pretty intense. I'm just hoping to have like a decent video for you guys this week, at least something. Um, at least show you guys a comparison of tires or something. I don't know. You get to see a little bit more turbo stuff. I'm just super, super excited, anxious, nervous to get this done. I think my boy Tyler and uh, Philly are going to come by whenever I'm doing the turbo install. So I have a couple extra hands here when that goes down next week. And probably Jesse too. Um, my roommate. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I do got to show you guys the... Uh, the office we finally moved our stuff in now my living room seems like super bare i mean i don't really spend much time out there anyway i only really did because the computer was out there but now we have both our computers set up in that spare room well he has two computers he has like two mouses two keyboards two monitors and he's playing what's it called runescape on two different computers at the same time he's freaking crazy but then we got the couch in there i got all the awards up um little mini fridge i'll show you guys that here Pretty proud of the room. We wanted to get it painted before, uh, then shit happened and we just wound up not painting it. But the yellow's kind of ugly. I do want to paint it white or gray or something, but we'll get there. I'll show you guys the room here. So here's the office. There's Jess doing his thing. Look at this little dual monitor, dual keyboard, dual everything set up here. And they got me. I'll, uh, Got my little setup here. Nothing too fancy. This made it nice and easy for me to, you know, unhook the laptop and go if I need to. It's not the prettiest by any means, like the way these cables are and stuff. I try to make it kind of cool and I don't know. It's bearable the way it is because I have so many things that need to connect to that, you know, the hard drive and stuff. But that's definitely a nice little setup here. I'm liking it. And of course we got all the awards up here and I threw some over here. I don't know really where to put them. And I got all my my old keystones from back in the day. These are from the 30 packs. I used to collect these bitches. I used to have almost all of them. I got this. Doesn't really fit in the frame, but yeah, nice little little chair room for us. My old ass rolling rock table and a hookah that never gets touched. Once. Got touched well, once. Touched once. Yeah. We got the mini fridge down there. It's nice with it. You know, our nice little little chill room. Pass out on the couch, drink some beers, play some music, games, movies. Kinda wanna put a TV up here, it's a small, small little boy. And I have like I hooked up to the computer so I can just like play movies or YouTube videos in here. Um but I have the couch for that, you know? I got the big-ass TV to, to be watching, but I don't know. Either way, we got, we got our house, ourselves a little, little chill room. I'm enjoying it. Well, here we are the next day. We got the uh, new rubber mounted on. Looks real nice. I spent way more time than what I should have today detailing the car. She's nice and pretty and shiny. Looking good. Heading out to Albuquerque in the morning, so getting some stuff ready. Got my cleaning stuff ready, got uh, tools, some tools to bring, but here's the old tires. Uh, the one day I had too much air pressure, this tire was in the front. This is the outside uh, part of the tire. I had way too much air in the tire going around this, this left turn, so you know, the wheels this way, and I was like kind of understeering. Really messed this tire up. Like, oh, phone call. Anyway, as I was saying, these two are my front two, so you can see like how much the outsides really got worn. This one wasn't as bad. It probably had the better tire pressure. We had more uh, left turns than what we did right turns that day, so it really took a toll on that one. But then I wound up switching to these two. I put these two on front for like the past couple of weeks, and then when I got uh, that nice little win there in Roswell, I was running these, and you can see that. I mean, that's there's a good amount of meat there still. Not so much 
on the inside. I do run a lot more camera in the back, and these ones were in the back, so. I don't know, but they served me well. I mean, 400 bucks for all four tires shipped to my house. Thanks to Brandon, BDR Racing, Federal. Um, and it lasted, that was the August, when I went to discount today. They said the last time I was there was August 18th, and that's when I got these mounted. So they lasted me almost a year. I mean, I haven't been daily driving them much at all, but it was still here. I mean, I do at least a month, uh, an event every month, and some events, or some months I have no, three or more, so it's safe to say there's 15 to 20 events plus, I don't know, at least 1,500 to 2,000 just driving miles on them. Oh, excuse me, I just ate so much um, wing stop. That place is a shit. But, uh, yeah, I want to save these tires. Maybe if I get another set of 17s, I'll throw them on and I want to eventually, well, not eventually, but here soon, I want to hook up a Haldex switch so I could do front wheel drive burnouts at the track before uh, going up the stage. I think it'd be pretty cool when Brandon was talking about uh, doing like a burnout video for Hoonigan or something. So, I don't know, we'll see. See to find another set of wheels. Oh, also shout out to my buddy Galen Smith. He also has a, the same color R DSG. He's over uh, Fort Worth, Dallas. But he sent me, this is for my visor in the car. I got two of them. He said a local guy made them. He said it was like a limited number, like 12 or something, but he never put them on. Asked me if I wanted them, and I was like, hell yeah. But I have to, and since they're all like kind of curled, it's a little bit better now. But I'm going to wait till they flatten out a little bit, and then I'm going to throw them on, hopefully, before we go to Albuquerque this weekend. Very cool, though. Well, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to throw it on the computer, edit this up, have it out for you guys tomorrow, being Friday. Uh, seven days from today, we'll be starting this turbo install. Uh, be sure to be watching my Instagram if you want to see pictures along the way and stuff. Hi, Jess. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.